Welcome to Malloy 30 for 30. I'm Michaela Hernandez, and I'm your host, and I'm also part of the women's basketball team here at Malloy College. Uh, today we'll be speaking with Shannon Atwell of the women's lacrosse team, Curtis Jenkins of the men's basketball team, and Kamala Thompson of the women's basketball team. So hi Curtis, hi Kamala. Hello. You Thanks for joining me today. Good to see you. I'm uh, just going to be asking you a few questions about your daily lives as student athletes. Works. So we'll start with Curtis. Um, what got you into basketball and what drove your passion to start playing? Um, what got me into basketball? Um, a lot of my older brothers, we, I mean, we always played, you know, every sport. And it was always like the main sports we played were basketball and football. So it was like, I see them do it, so I follow after them. And then I had kids on my street who always played, so it kind of just became a thing. And then, I, I mean, it, it was fun then, and it was just to, to do. But then as I got to middle school, I kind of really started liking it. So I picked it up and started playing organized. Okay, and how about you? Kind of very similar. I have three older brothers, and they always played sports. They were always very active and playing basketball. And I'm about 10 years younger, so they pretty much just use me as a basketball. Nice. So did you play any of the sports as a child? I know he played football. How about you? I didn't. It was pretty much just basketball. That's all I was really good at. Mm -hmm. I tried two other sports during high school, kind of as a way to get out of off-season training, mm -hmm. lacrosse and track, but only lasted a day. All right. Mm -hmm. So why did both of you choose to uh, pursue your athletic career here at Malay? Um, I decided to pursue my athletic career here because I felt it was the best fit for me uh, basketball-wise and academically. You know, I was able to come here, get a free education, and at a good school. So it was the best value mm -hmm. and best for what I wanted to do. Then Joe Pelican, our current coach, mm -hmm. reached out and told me that I could come and play basketball. It was going to be a new program, relatively new. He's only been here for two years. We were going to have a lot of transfers and freshmen as well. Mm -hmm. So I was really excited about that, just mm -hmm. to be a part of something new and exciting. And this is your final, your grad year. So yeah, what school did you attend before Malloy College? I was at Dartmouth College. Okay, mm -hmm. Ivy League, super yeah. smart. <laughs> uh, so what's your daily routine like uh, between classes, school, and everything? So pretty much it's a lot of stretching, a lot of mm -hmm. getting my body warm and ready for what's going to happen at practice. So I wake up, stretch, come here, um, do a lot of uh, prehab, go down to the training room and get some heat, again stretch again, and then we have organized play on the court for about two hours, and then uh, ice afterwards. Yeah, you need that after running our lanes mm. for about two hours. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and for me, it's, it's basically the same thing. I really do most of that. You know, it's all stretching, everything before, and then I get into skill work before practice, and typically I go and do skill work after, too, um, mm -hmm. just about as, the same amount. And then I get to, you know, stretch in my cool-down stretches and then just rest. Mm -hmm. So well, you both put in a lot of extra time besides your lot of practice times. Absolutely. Yeah. You That's have to. You know, if you want to be a successful college athlete, then you have to put in extra time. That's the, the extra work, the hard work, is really what gets you places you want to go in this. So. so Kamala, are you involved in any clubs or activities here at Malloy other than basketball? At this moment, no, but I would like to get involved in some other departments on campus, maybe get into some other fields and audit or shadow some classes. Uh, I have interest in the computer science field and film specifically. Mm -hmm. Um, have you done anything with that previously? In yes, those I have. I actually learned that I love to write through doing that back at Dartmouth and auditing a writing class. Mm -hmm. And you wrote a book. Can you tell us the name of that? Yes, it's titled Defying the Odds on the Pursuit of Success. Uh, it's really something that came about when I was thinking about what I wanted to do post-graduation and contemplating my interests outside of being a basketball player. Okay, which is available on Amazon for $9.99. Anybody interested? Um, and do you plan on continuing your career as a basketball player after college? Um, I definitely would like to. Uh, ever since I started playing basketball organized, that's been the goal. Mm -hmm. uh, some way, somehow, to get that done. And that's what I like to do. I like to go play somewhere. Mm -hmm. Professionally, definitely. And do you have any aspirations as well? It's an option, but more so I know that I'll be involved with the sport till the day I die, whether that's coaching, playing, or training. Mm -hmm. 
And what advice would you both give to a future, future student athlete? Um, maintain a balance with everything that you do. Uh, you know, maintain a balance of having to deal with everything with your sport because it is a lot that goes into it. You know, you have a lot of team you know, meetings and, and things that you have to do that are mandated and also things that you're just expected to do. Um, then on the other side, you have academics. You have to be able to balance those two. And when you throw in social life and family and all of the other um, pieces, you have, to, you have to find a balance. Mm -hmm. And keeping that balance and finding that balance and learning where, how to do so is really the, the key. And once you do so, then you'll be fine. Mm -hmm. I couldn't agree more. And make sure you stay passionate about the game and do it if you're passionate and if you love the game. That's definitely important. Um, <clears throat> we're going to take a quick break, so thank you both for joining us today. And when we come back, we're going to have Shannon Atwell from the women's lacrosse team. No problem. See you guys soon. Welcome back, everyone. I'm here with Shannon Atwell of the women's lacrosse team here at Malloy College. Um, so, Shannon, uh, I have a few questions for you. How long have you been playing lacrosse and how did you get involved? I've been playing lacrosse since I was just like really, really young, but mm -hmm. I actually started on a team when I was in the third grade because that's when it like started up in my town. But I got involved because of uh, I have four older brothers and they have always been playing sports and always had lacrosse sticks in the backyard and I always wanted to play. And then when I was in third grade and my town had a team, I started playing and have mm -hmm. played ever since then. I know for basketball we have like travel teams, uh, same thing for you at a young age? Yeah, I started on a travel team in the fifth grade and it was from my fi from fifth grade to senior year of high school. Wow. So, yeah. Um, can you describe your daily routine um, between classes and lacrosse? Mm -hmm. um, I wake up in the morning, I have class. I have usually like three classes a day and then I either have practice or I have a workout lift or I'll just go work out by myself with or some with some girls on the team. It really depends. Mm -hmm. um, what would you say the most difficult part about being a student athlete is? Um, I'd probably say the time management because it's a lot to handle with all your classes and being on a sports team and then seeing your family because I commute so I go home a lot. But. Right. It's a lot to handle. And how do you balance all that, especially being a freshman? I have like a planner and a calendar and I set up everything and where I have to be, what time, who I need to see, and it usually works out and just take it day by day. Mm -hmm. uh, what would you say the advantages are to being a student athlete? The advantages would be like every, seeing everyone on the team, like being mm -hmm. a part of the team, just like, because everyone looks at like athletes as like oh like that's an athlete right, and yeah. then seeing everyone on the team is also really good mm -hmm. so and would you say the athletic community here at Malay overall is a tight-knit community or yeah I'm friends with a lot of people on a lot of different teams it's not like oh I'm just friends with lacrosse people I'm friends right. with people on basketball and softball baseball every mm -hmm. team uh, what would your favorite part about being a student athlete be my favorite part would be just being a part of a team, so I um, get involved in a lot of different things, and seeing everyone on the team is really good since it's a small school, so just get like really excited and pumped up to see each other. Mm -hmm. um, are you involved in any other activities here, or just lacrosse? Um, I'm involved in SAC, which is Student Athlete Advisory Committee, mm -hmm. so it's a lot of people from every team kind of just getting together and like figuring out how to support the other team. like. We have a thing called support the sport, and everyone goes to like at least one game for each team, mm -hmm. and we have like different things that we can have a say about, like the food here and like just a whole bunch of stuff, which is really good. Nice. Do you plan on being involved with lacrosse, either coaching or playing after college? Um, lacrosse isn't really a thing for girls after, but I would love to be a coach someday, hopefully, like if I have kids for them or maybe out of college if I'm not doing anything. <laughs> that stinks. Would you actually like want to do that if it was an option or? Um, I guess so. I, I don't want to stop playing, mm -hmm. but it would probably be hard after with like my job and stuff if I get one. <laughs> right. I hope you do. <laughs> Me too. Um, do you have any advice for a future student athlete, especially here at Malloy? I would say manage your time well, mm -hmm. stay in shape, definitely, and like 
take your time with everything because it's going by so fast. Like my freshman year is like half over and yeah, I don't want really it to fast. be. <laughs> All right, so thanks for joining me, Shannon, and thanks to Curtis and Kamala as well. Um, for more information on these student athletes um, and for everyone watching, uh, go to Malloy's accounts on YouTube, Twitter, and Instagram. Again, I'm your host, Michaela Hernandez, and thank you for joining us in 30 for 30. So just dance, dance, dance I can't stop the feeling yeah. So keep dancing yeah. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. I can't stop the feeling